AG Labs, my name is Ben. Hello, welcome to da -da 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 -dum, the micro soldering show, baby. Yeah, we're here. And uh, today I want to fix an iPhone XS board with you. And the board came in from a customer and he was doing sports training in a fitness studio and the dumbbell fell down to the screen of the board. And after that, the customer thought, okay, I got a screen damage because I can't move the touch anymore. So he came here and um, we had a look for the device and we, we saw no band and all looked good and we tried another screen at first and we have still no touch. So I separated the board and I thought at first, okay, only disconnected uh, or broken bo balls between the board halves, but we have ripped pads on the top layer and that's a thing which is a pretty nice repair and pr pretty interesting. So I thought, okay, let's do a video about that okay so here you can see there are some important solder connections missing i want to show that to you in zxw and here we are so you can see we are at the iphone xs and here we have some important lines missing okay so, and these important lines are, are important, these important lines are important, um, they are impo uh, important for, for some functions, there are some data lines and um, we need them for a uh, full function of the board. Sorry, I, I, I know if my English would be better it would be much easier to explain but here you can see we have rib connections between the board halves and I just want to show you how to fix them. I wish you a lot of fun with that video and let's start right away with the repair. Okay, we just need some flux at first. Guck mal, je nachdem wie UPS kommt, kannst du ja vielleicht noch die beiden Geräte noch mit... Also wenn es noch klappt, wenn es nicht klappt, dann ist es, ist es so. Wenn es klappt, ist es gut. Okay. So. Na gut, das eine muss ja sowieso erst noch bezahlt werden, von daher ist es... Okay, you can see, we just... Montag dann, aber we just get down some solder to the pads. <coughs> And you don't need much solder for that, but a little. So that looks good. You can see. That's pretty nice. And now we just need some jumper wire. I take 0 0.07 jumper wire. N no, 0 0.007. So that's the jumper wire I use. And I need my tweezers. Where are my tweezers here? David, could you give me a second uneasy tweezer? Black one from Keitel's place would be nice. Yeah, and a zweite Pinzette wäre ganz cool. Dankeschön. One. And the next one. Two. So my way is always Uh, 
first get them jumpers down piece per piece and after that cleaning and then rolling the jumpers like I need them okay next one the next one so I always take one bigger piece of wire and use that for the whole work or for mostly the whole work Okay, done here, next one. And I make it looking nice later. First is always point, point, point on the jumpers. After that, getting it looking clean. I don't get many of these jumper jumper works here. So that's why I thought cool just another video or just in a video which which I I didn't show many times before. So let's go and take a video on Friday where I normally normally at this time Friday I almost go home and put on the barbecue to get a, a bigger pants to get more fat and the last one just this one to stay now okay now we clean by using a brush a clean room wipe By the way, this week we shipped out all the pre-orders for the for the private customers, for the end customers. B2Bs mostly shipped out completely. So we get to a good level. I know some people had had to wait long for their delivery. We have to roll them jumpers.
like that. And by the way, today I got a gift from Mijing and Union Repair. Thanks at this point. They sent me the new um, the new eye repair cam. So I want to or I will do a review about that start of the upcoming week. So stay tuned for that. Okay, that looks nice, I think. You see, all the jumpers are done. We needed about eight minutes for that. And now we need some solder mask. Hey, come on. Stop fucking me up. No, that's okay. Now we take some light, first step done, and we'll see what we do after, because now we get solder mask over the whole jumper wire, then we just scrape away a little bit, and then we can just solder back the board together, and we should have a nice working device again. Some UV light for sealing. I like these repairs really. These uh, jumper works on them. Well, 
I can see just scraping a little bit. Same here. So, okay, just getting it like that. We will need to here. That's pretty okay. That's pretty okay. Yeah, looks all good. Okay, looks good. They all have contact and that's pretty important. Your contact is okay. Contact is okay. That's okay, we can have contact here. And that's pretty enough. That's pretty enough, you see? No, you don't see, now you see. Here, that's pretty enough contact. 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 Okay, now we have a nice looking work for resoldering them board halves together. Now we need to do a reball of the middle frame, the middle layer. And I read in a group on Facebook um, tonight, it was tonight, and people were talking about which thermal paste should we use for reballing them both halves. And many people wrote uh, use 138 uh, for reballing them both halves. And I, I read this and I wrote, no, never use this crap. That's what, what's been, wh what has been used in the production uh, of the phone. And so many phones have problems caused by this weak 138 solder because of cold solder joints and, um, and ball breaks. Yeah? And that's why I never use 138 then i wrote okay use 183 and people wrote oh no you can uh, you can overheat the cpu and the whole board and no that's not a good way people i i did hundreds i can't count i can't count the devices i repaired dx the sandwich boards 
and I never, never, never use weak solder 138. It, it doesn't make any sense because you have exactly the same shit like if the phone comes from factory. You will have customers coming back after a few weeks or a few months and they will tell you I have no touch and the phone is not working at all and it's stucking and it's looping and rebooting and we don't want that. We want to have a quality repair and for a quality repair we need to use a good solder. So some people use 148 or 153. It's better than 138 but it's not perfect. Perfect is to use 183. You won't have any problems with returning phones at all and if you know how to work it's no problem to do. So and that's just a thing of, of practice or on, on learning. It's uh, corresponding to learning so have a look for a good training we don't do trainings anymore at all but there are other other people who do trainings other companies where you can get teached and after that I'm pretty sure that your rebolts will work and they will last for a long time and that is why we work on these phones we want to have happy customers who don't come back for RMA or second time for the same phone they should come back with other they should come back with other phones because they were satisfied with other repairs that's the key and you can only reach that if you do long lasting and professional repairs that's just my opinion perhaps somebody some some other people have a different view for that and that's pretty okay but for me it's I want to see satisfied customers and we only can see them by doing professional good work like here using 183 for these sandwich boards so it takes a little bit more time for reborning, that's correct, but it will last longer. Okay, done. One time around the world and the board has been reborn. And what I saw in this post at the group on Facebook too was people always write which temperatures do I need for doing a reborn and I use this temperature and this and I use this and another one writes no you have to use this it's not about your temperature and your airflow it's just about your your skill level how you do it okay you can work on several temperatures with several airflows with several nozzles it will work always it's not about a temperature and an airflow it's just about to to use your your hot air in the right way just to, to place it in the right way that's all 
Kannst du bitte David das Telefon rausbringen? Ich weiß nicht, was der macht. Das geht weit. Ich denke, der ist vorne. Ich denke. So, we clean the board. Dann schau hinten, ruf ihn. Ruf ihn. Ruf ihn. Hinten. Uh. Okay. So, now the reball has been done. The reball has been done and all looks good. And now it's time to get them board halves back together. Is that toilet or that? Yeah, we got it. So. some clocks here done it's my last day without Andy tomorrow I have free time and start of the next week Andy will be back and we are complete again here and it's much much better for me so now we have prepared all here you can see the board with the jumpers now I put this one the upper board to the lower board should look like that okay and now we can just it looks bad on my table really really bad so don't think that I'm a technician who, who, who doesn't work his he, who doesn't do his work right but I was working the whole day at this table and I clean my table every day again but I'm pretty happy if we are at the new point at a new company and then you will see all is really really amazing so let's solder the board back together flat here flat here flat here move And we are done. Okay, putting off the preheater. And waiting for a short time. Here is the right screen. And we want, here is the paste. 183, it's Kelly Shun, but you can use what you want. What you like, what you want, no problem. But not 
use this paste which I only use for cleaning works that's 138 don't use that I don't use it for anything you see it's only it looks like like shit and it's all only to put my solder iron into and just cleaning some sh some shit and that's all what I what I use for Get the board to the dust absorber. Taking a picture. And I see people often asking under my videos why you take pictures from your repairs. I do that for using it on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Instagram.com slash phone micro soldering. I would be very happy to see it there. So now we can just check if the, the board boots. I do this only by looking on the DC power supply and seeing the value there so no short board boots yeah we have a boot so that's pretty fine take the housing get the board into just for a quick test run okay and I only connect the lightning plug, the power button, and the touch, and the screen, and the battery. Okay, that's also we will get an error message for Face ID now because I don't have connected that. Okay, phone boots. I know there's a personal image on the screen. There is a baby on it, so I just hide that a little bit and just swipe one time and then I can show you that the device has a working touch again. And here you can see the touch works again, works fine. Boom! Back to life again. iPhone XS after a dumbbell fall, fell down on the screen, the board had ball break and for that we didn't have any touch function you see um, things like this like this happen often but i don't see much jumper works here mostly i see cpu things so mail in more jumper works for me i, I would be pretty happy about that uh, to do them repairs so here you can see that it works fine okay I hope you liked the video. I would be happy to see you at our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. Please answer the questions, otherwise we can't accept you. And you have to work at the repair industry for smartphones and tablets. And by the way, I would be very happy if you would order the ICC Pro. All the pre-orders have been shipped out by today. It's finished. So all the pre-orders are out. If you're waiting for the ICC Pro, you will get it within the next days. So we have a new batch. Um, I think at the moment we have about 150 here and they will come up uh, about four or three three or four weeks ab uh, about uh, that time we will get um, more than thousands again okay so we will see us with the next video i'm out boom back to life again yours and then have a nice weekend